Good morning, guys. I thought I would show you a couple of things before the painters come tomorrow. I thought I would just give you one last overview of my mess of a room and also show you a few new things around my flat because I realised that I haven't given you an update since I moved in. So this room is going to be painted bright white tomorrow. I think they said it was going to take three days because they're going to have to sand all of my wardrobes and then paint them. So this is what they're looking like right now. Let's give you a little overview of this room room. My clothes are in here because they were obviously in the back bedroom and I can't get paint on them so they're just there for now. I'm trying to downsize my shelves because obviously I would like more plants on them and like less stuff on them. Let me know what you guys will get rid of off here. I can't get rid of my DVDs obviously because I'm keeping them but anything else let me know. I might take all the packets off them so that they're just brown and then as we go into this room mom's friends mom is actually having this chair so that's gonna go home with her this time. We've actually just put this in the corner and I really like it, my gold cabinet. So in time, I'm getting this TV mounted up here and then I guess I'll have my gold cabinet here. And then in this corner, I don't know what to have, but I'm definitely not having this coffee table. It's gonna be something a bit smaller because I don't want it to look cluttered. But I'm gonna be selling this coffee table. It's from West Elm. If anybody's interested and you live in Brighton, let me know. But yeah, I'm gonna have my TV mounted up there. This is all gonna be clear. I'm gonna have this cabinet here, but this picture just for my bedroom so just ignore that for now let me know what you guys would put on this cabinet would you just have plants on it i'm not too sure i guess because the rest of the room isn't done right now i can't really focus on finishing touches look at nelly wanting attention <laughs> but yeah i've just got my pink sofa here and my big sofa here and a lot of people are actually confused about this sofa basically that's the one that i had in my other flat and to save some money i've just brought it here but in like a year or two probably when i redecorate this room because all of my rooms do need redecorating at some point they need like all the underlying paper like ripped off and actually properly redoing but for now I've just painted them just to save some money but when I get that done I will get a new sofa and then I'll have decided like if I want this room light or if I want it dark or if I want it a color and I can get like a sofa to match that but for now that is just there and obviously it's really big I can't open that door but that's okay for the next year until I figure out exactly what I want and if you've seen this yellow thing I've just got to touch up on the paint and make it straight but yeah those are my rooms right now let me know what you would do to them obviously they're not finished in the slightest I've got so much to do to them but yeah I guess they will do for now you shouldn't be on there with the ivy plants let's move that it's toxic for cats so we will put it here it's dead if anyone knows how I can bring back to life my sunburnt ivy let me know Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to the hairdressers to get my hair topped up. I had it done at six weeks ago, which it doesn't feel like, but yeah, it's been six weeks and the colors lasted so well, but it's definitely gone a lot lighter and a lot more gingery. I think when I had it done, it was like more darker and more like ready tone. So I'm excited to get that back a bit. You watch your telly down there. <laughs> you watching this morning. <laughs> Hello everyone, so I'm back from the hairdressers. As you can see, I went more brown this time because next time I'm gonna get balayage. So my hairdresser Dan had to like neutralize my hair today and take some of the red away from it. Obviously some is still there because when you dye your hair like copper or auburn or whatever, it takes kind of a while to get rid of, rid of the red. And cause I'm gonna be in hospital and I'm gonna be like out of life for a couple of weeks. I was just like, you know what? Let's start the process today. Let's dye my hair this color, just kind of like neutralize it. Then I'm going back in four weeks to get balayage done. Just decided like I've never done that before and I kind of just want to try it just to say I've done it see what it looks like you don't know unless you try might hate it might love it but whatever while my hair's short and while I'm not bothered about cutting it off or whatever I just thought let's give it a go so I'll insert some pictures of kind of the vibe I'm going for we just walked around town for a bit but it's been rainy today it's been so nice and cold so we've just come home oh I like my hair color so the painter has finished painting my room today he didn't do the fireplace so I'm gonna have to do that at another date but I actually kind of think I want it dark let me know in the comments what color you would do this I think it would look good dark with the tiles and obviously with the other side of my room being dark wardrobes will kind of match let me know dark or white but this is going to be my bedroom 
smile. Can't we have poorly eye? <laughs> but yeah, in the end, I decided to keep my dark wardrobes because it was going to be about £300 more to get them sanded and painted. And I just thought, you know what? I'm getting them removed at some point because now that I own somewhere, I want to get a wardrobe that really is made for me rather than like following someone else's plan. Because in my last flat, the wardrobe, it was a lovely wardrobe for the owner, but it just wasn't good for me. I have so many trousers and like jumpsuits and there just wasn't enough long bits and there isn't in this wardrobe either. So in time I want to like have my own perfect one made. So there's no point spending 300 more pounds on it now when I can just save that for when I actually get it done. So I've just left them dark and it's actually grown on me. I think now that the room's white, it looks a lot better. Just need a lampshade. I think a certain little goose wants the tap. You ready? You ready? There you go. I just wanted to show you that they have fixed my shower. It's now fixed, which is fantastic. But like I've got like a wig on from the dye. What's my favorite hair color that you like the best? Brown. <laughs> Your natural color. <laughs> you excited for me to get balayage? Not really. Why? I don't know. It'll be all right when I see it. One thing you probably don't know about us is mom is such a pessimistic person. <laughs> I'm not. You are. Every, every idea I ever have, everything I ever say, it's like, well, this could happen. Well, that could happen. And I think people think I'm the pessimistic one, but I'm actually quite optimistic. I'm like, mum, chill. You It'll have, be fine. You have to cover every eventuality. No, you don't. No, you don't. Not with everything. I'm 56. I don't care. I'm 25. <laughs> pessimistic prudence. That's you. <laughs> That's me. I've got a really sore eye. Yeah. Well, go and wink somewhere else. <laughs> Is that so nice? <laughs> oh, goosey. Right, I thought I would show you guys what we've done. We've brought my bed in here with obviously the under storage bits and all of my side tables and lights and everything. If you're wondering why there's a cushion in there is because that's an actual fireplace and I don't want Nelly to go up it, but I will definitely like get that blocked off at some point, just like blocked off inside and keep the actual fireplace. I'm gonna remove this radiator as well, get it gone because it just kind of ruins the room. Like I'm just gonna get it gone because there's a big one here. So I feel like that'll be fine in winter. This cabinet is also going, so ignore that for now. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my chair in the corner. I've got like a tan chair. I'm gonna have my TV mounted there. So there's gonna be TV, chair, mirror and then that'll look like a lot better and probably like a little plant or something this mirror is from ikea people always ask and then down here i just got these wires to sort out but from this angle this is my bedroom obviously i'm gonna hang some artwork up there and then these are my new black wardrobes let me know if you think i should paint the door black as well but i guess at some point i am getting them ripped out so then i'll have a black door to deal with maybe not but yeah this is my room for now it's looking very empty it needs artwork i actually might not keep that mirror there to be honest i might put it in my other bedroom and just have the chair and the tv and like a big plant that might look nicer then i've just got my laundry basket again to reiterate i'm getting wooden floor everywhere in this flat in like october time i'm just getting my kitchen done first this room is another one that i changed around obviously this was my bedroom but i've decided to make it like the spare room so i've got my sofa bed in here yeah. everything looks very bare right now because obviously i've got no artwork but yeah sofa bed gonna get new cushions for this i don't think they go then i've just got a side table with a light on for when people stay i've got this rattan light that i'm hanging up up here which i'm very excited about this room is going to be like my little boho -y one then i've got my makeup drawers got a telly here i'm gonna get a tv mounted there just for when people stay so that they've got something to watch like my brother would normally choose to stay in the living room so he can watch telly late so i'm gonna just mount one there then i've got my little chair which is the one that is gonna go in my bedroom i've got this print here that i'm gonna be putting above the sofa bed i think and i've got my little makeup station everything needs a big old tidy and a big old sort out and i actually am gonna paint this room i don't want it all white if any of you have seen my mum's bedroom that i painted at the house in sheffield you'll know what i mean by this but i'm just gonna paint like the bottom of the wall a color so you will have to stay tuned for that but that will be 
after my art. But yeah, I think this room's actually gonna look really nice. This is like my pastel, little pastel dream. And then obviously I've also got a mint green door, which is so cute. And then this room, my ottoman isn't gonna stay in this room. So don't worry, I know it doesn't look right with the sofa. And also I'm getting a new sofa cushion made. So it's just gonna be the two seater rather than the one with legs. But yeah, we've moved the bright pink sofa in here, which I personally think looks better. Like ignore that ottoman. I've got a dark gray circle one that's gonna come. That's gonna be like that. Gonna get different cushions. That isn't gonna be there. I might get some like white prints or something. I don't know. Anyways, this is what we've done today. We went into Habitat today and I got an absolute bargain. These are my perfect bowls, like the shape of them. I love a square bowl, like a deep square bowl. <laughs> square? No, but it goes like that instead of going like, it's like more square. Guys, you know what I mean. I just like bowls like this, where they're like more flat at the bottom rather than them going like that. They were supposed to be, it says eight pound here, but I saw ones with 10 pound on, but they were actually six pound 40. I checked the receipt. And then this lovely vase, I love the color. This was supposed to be 20 pounds, but it was 14 in the sale. And I really like this, especially against the dark. It looks so cool. So I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I like it. And I'm gonna go now. Mum's just cooking those jacket potatoes. It's just turned eight o'clock and oh, we just wanna sit, watch Love Island later, see who Amber couples up with and go. So give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. My next one will be kind of strange. It will be an operation video because I have an operation on Monday. I'm gonna do a whole video about it. So stay tuned if you wanna see that. But until then, don't forget to subscribe to see more of my videos and I will see you then. Bye.